luôn quý vị tao ông cha của chúng ta đã đánh thắng tao trong quá khứ bởi hai vị nữ luôn đó là hai bà trước chúng tôi xin nhường cái cơ hội này để mời bà trần hương thủy lên trên này để lấy tinh thần của hai bà để chống giặc tao xin mời bà trần hương thủy lên đây dạ xin mời cô trần hương thủy cộng đồng vua long gòn dạ xin mời chị gentlemen we are here because in front of the chinese embassy is as australia not just vietnamese australia because we are concerned not for our own country because our own country is already be going facing the the fate of tibet and today china never stop never stop ladies and gentlemen there is ambition it's evident to the Chinese nine dot points that well known now, that including all countries in Southeast Asia. And China now literally believe that the word China Sea, that means everything in that sea, that they call China Sea, but we call it East Sea. It's correctly, it's East Sea. 
And ladies and gentlemen, that is the correct the name. Vietnam Sea. Yeah, and it's including Vietnam Sea. And ladies and gentlemen, the problem is, as Australia, we must wake up for ourselves. We must wake up for our own security, ladies and gentlemen. As Australian, we must be concerned under China ambition. Their ambition is never end. It's not end in Vietnam. Vietnam is just the beginning. And worse still, the communist Vietnam is kowtow to the communist China. They prepare to hang on to their power by, by offering Vietnam sovereignty to the Chinese. That is why we are here. We are here because we don't want China gradually encroaching Australian territory as well, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we say, China out of Vietnam! Oh, oh, oh! China out of Vietnam! Oh, oh, oh. Down with uh, Chinese ambitions! Oh, oh, oh. Down with Chinese ambitions! Oh, oh, oh. Down with Chinese ambitions! Oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, before we, uh, we start into the high gear, can I please clarify some very important things? When we declare the word China today, we mean the communist China, not the kind China as a country. When we say Chinese, we mean the communist Chinese, those not the head in the political party of Chinese. So, we don't have any prejudice against the Chinese people or the country of China. We just do not go along and approve the behavior of the communist party of China as a whole. So, from now, Chinese mean the communist Chinese, and China mean the communist China. China's out of Vietnam! <laughs> to the communist Chinese, we would like to let you know this. The people of Vietnam, the Vietnamese people outside of Vietnam, do not agree with whatever agreement that you have made with the Vietnamese Communist Party. Whatever that you agree with is only with the Communist Party. Therefore, we will ask that you respect the sovereignty of Vietnam. For thousands of years, the Vietnamese have defended our nation. Therefore, stop using force, power, and money, influence the Vietnamese communists. We say that now, that the Vietnamese people will stand up for the rights and the sovereignty of our nation, that our fatherland has been built for thousands of years. China out of Vietnam! Out, out, out! China out of Vietnam! Out, out, out! China out of Vietnam! Out, out, out! We will say no to all the goods from China! No, no, no! China is tourist! No, no, no! And China's ladies and gentlemen, one most effective way we can go against the invasion of China on Vietnam is boycott China good! Boycott China! We, that's the only way. It's not the only good for our health because Chinese have been poisoning our people in Vietnam. They, have in, they did not stop at nothing, ladies and gentlemen, in poisoning our people with their poisonous products, unscrupulous products that they don't even feed to their pigs. And yet they import into Vietnam, try to kill, to genocide the Vietnamese people right now particularly the poor people in Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, that's why we say, now we come in China. No, no, no. Now we come in China. No, no, no. China out of Vietnam. Oh, oh, oh. China out of Vietnam. Oh, oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, today the Vietnamese living in Australia. We would like to come here to tell the people, the Australian public, and the people of Australia that the coming imminent invasion of Chinese communists on our country. Please look at the genocide that happened in Mongolia, in Tibet. And please read the book, Dead by China, published in 2005. And you will find out what the Chinese mean. What do they want? And really, at the moment, we, the Vietnamese living overseas, and the Vietnamese people in Vietnam, we don't recognize anything side between Ch communist China and communist Vietnam. We are not going to recognize all of these. And one more thing, I would like to tell you that the genocide happened in Mongolia 
and also in Tibet. It will happen to the people in Vietnam because 1,000 years under the domination of Chinese, our ancestors already kicked them out 13 times. 13 times. The Mr. Trần Hưng Đạo is the only person who, you know, really beat the Genghis Khan two, three times in Vietnam. Really, so I think China got to be careful. The Vietnamese people not going to lie down to let these people, the Chinese people, to come and dominate our country again. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Thank you. you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, part of the activity why we're here today is also about Formosa. We are walking alongside with our people back home, the 100 million Vietnamese people back home. Formosa is a country, it's not, it's a company, a Taiwanese run company owned by the Chinese as per one nation, one China policy, ladies and gentlemen. Since April last year, this company was illegally dumping toxic waste into our ocean, destroyed the environmental habitat over the coastline of Vietnam, over 250 kilometers. What we do about it? We haven't done nothing about it. The world knew about that. We want the world to know that since last year, 17,000 of Vietnamese fishing boats were severely contaminated by the toxins that they have to be destroyed. Over 41,000 Vietnamese people living along the coastline has to be hospitalized, require urgent medical attention. In further investigation, we found that more than 176,000 Vietnamese were financially ruined because of this disaster that is not natural cause, but caused by Chinese, by Formosa, what else after that? Formosa has not done anything to correct the mistake or the deliberate murder of our coastline. Out of Vietnam, China! Vietnam out of China! China out of Vietnam! China out of Vietnam! Shame on China! Shame on China! À, sau đây chúng tôi xin được kính mời à, cô Nguyễn Phương Vĩ và chủ tịch à, cộng đồng Victoria có đôi lời sau sau đó là tiến sĩ Hà Cao Thắng và ông Phu Avina. I just want to say to you the Chinese Communist regime just because you collaborate with the Vietnamese Communist regime to take over uh, Vietnam to plant all these toxic stuff in Vietnam to kill the Vietnamese people with the hope that the Vietnamese people will no longer exist in this world. You want us to be extinct? Well, let me tell you, this ain't going to happen. China out of Vietnam. Out, out, out. China out of Vietnam. Out, out, out. China out of Vietnam. Out, out, out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look into the history of Vietnam and China, um, we have defeated the Chinese again and again, even though they think that they are big in terms of numbers. They're big in terms of the land and their massive army forces. But the Vietnamese army, all those we're small, we defeat them again and again. And that has been recorded in the history of Vietnam and China. Now Chinese has been infiltrated into the, as a communist country, infiltrated into the communist government of Vietnam, trying to poison our people, poison our land, poison our um, own fishermen, just to gain their own economic freedom as well as gain their own um, controlling over Vietnam. And they, they also have another sort of a conspiracy is that they will try to overruling and making Vietnam as one of their province. All we can say to you, Vietnam will never be come um, and part of China. The Vietnamese people will have shown and history have shown that we do not belong to China. With the expansion in the East Sea, we also say the same. As an Australian Vietnamese, we, it's our concern because you're trying to expand in your sea, trying to affect the Australian people, uh, affecting Australian sea in terms of navigations. We do not agree to that. So whatever you do, whatever the Chinese and the China is trying to do, we know. And the Vietnamese know that we can beat you. So don't try, don't try, because if you, even if you try harder, you cannot beat us. 
So all we're asking you that we know, so we're telling you that to get out of Vietnam now. China out of Vietnam. China out of Vietnam. China out of Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, may I leave you with this word that China have been teaching their students in China right now. They call themselves Greater China. What does it mean? It's not just China in their, ter their own territory, but the entire region, including Australia. That is their Greater China. Their invasion will not stop in Vietnam, will not stop in the Philippines, will not stop in Indonesia, but including Australia. That is their ambition about Greater China. And I can tell you what, the communist Chinese, your ambition, like all the speakers before, we have been squashed. Your greater China has been defeated, has been reduced to lesser China in the past by Vietnamese people. We will make it happen again. If you still think that you will be greater China, I'm sorry, mate. You will be lesser China if you dare to invade our country. So out of Vietnam! Out of Vietnam, China! Ladies and gentlemen, now we would like to invite Paul Avina from South Australia. We have your word. On behalf of the Vietnamese community in South Australia, um, this is a section that um, I didn't prepare a speech. However, just a few points that uh, we can see clearly from what's happening in the Southeast Sea. The Chinese have been building these fake islands for many, many years and have started militarizing them to the extent that they would like to take ownership of this territory and control this territory. It's really important that all countries that have a right to sovereignty are entitled to have their views heard and respected. It's very clear that the Chinese are very concerned about their sovereignty. However, do they concern themselves with the sovereignty of the Vietnamese people in this area? It's clear that they would like to protect what is their interests and the Vietnamese people should protect their interests. We're here in support of the Vietnamese people to protect our interests, not just today, not just yesterday, for thousands and thousands of years to come. We must take a stand, because if we don't take a stand, then the alternative is this ambition, Chinese influence, will just slowly grow, just like those fake islands, beyond and beyond their borders. They would like to maintain status quo in their country, that's fine, but is that status quo for the rest of the world? Thank you, Paul Avina. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one indisputed fact why our country, our little Vietnam, survived against China in the past nearly 5,000 years, because each time they invaded, if one Vietnamese fell down, another 10 stood up. And if another 10 fell down, a thousand stood up. If you kill người gã cục, thì cả đất nước chúng ta đứng lên, dòng lạc hồng không bao giờ khuất phục. Phải không thưa quý vị? Chúng ta nhất quyết phải để cho thằng tàu này sẽ thất bại một lần nữa. Xin mọi người cùng hát. Xin quý quý vị cùng lắng nghe. Nam Quốc Sơn Hà, Nam Đế Cư. Tuyệt nhiên phân định tại thiên thư Như hà nghịch lỗ lại xâm phạm Như đẳng hành khan thủ bại hư Đất nước trời Nam của Việt Nam Sách trời đình rõ từ muôn ngàn Cuồng ngông giặc sử đừng mong chiếm Chúng bay sẽ Chuốc lấy bài vong, kiếp nhục tàn. Southern waters belong to Vietnam. It's wholly declared by heaven. Who dares invite will be crushed, will suffer defeat with deep shame.
gentlemen that is the spirit that is the spirit that protect our country for thousands of years against China to China the only lesson they understand the only lesson they understand is force stand up for your country die for your country that the only way you protect them you count out to them they stamp it on you they invited you they will take over you over and that is the only way ladies and gentlemen and another message another message here that is, for our people, you, if your country is your, you have everything. If you lose your country, you lose everything. You will live a slave life, life. and Chinese will, in, will, will actually obsolete your country like they have been doing in Tibet, ladies and gentlemen. They will annihilate it, the population. By that time, nuns, monks, priests, who stood up to them is too late. Too late when your country took over. They will kill you. They're happy to kill you and replace you with the Han people, with the Chinese people. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, learn this lesson. Australians and Vietnamese alike. That's Look right, at ladies and gentlemen. The government of China took over our parcel and spread the island. They took over the island at all, legally and lawfully, in the law of the world by Vietnam. And ever since, China has illegally built military bases along those islands, creating the instability, threatening the security in the whole region. And in that insecurity include Australia, Vietnam, and the Philippines, to say the least. We must do something now before it's too late. 
China out of Vietnam. China out of Vietnam. China out of Vietnam. Syrian island. Out, out, out. Sam on China. Sam, Sam, Sam. Sam on China. Sam, Sam, Sam. Sam on China. Sam, Sam, Sam. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, down with the Chinese Communist Party. No, no, no. Down with the Chinese Communist Party. No, no, no. Down with the Chinese Communist Party. No. Chinese Communist Party, get out of Vietnam. No, no, no. Chinese, get out of Vietnam. No, no, no. Chinese, get out of Vietnam. No, no, no. Chinese, stop invading Vietnam. No, no, no. Chinese, stop invading Vietnam. Chinese, stop invading Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, my, my fellow Vietnamese and my fellow Australian, today we are here to send China a message. We are here on behalf of Australians. We are here on behalf of the Vietnamese, our fellow Vietnamese in Vietnam, ladies and gentlemen. Why are we here on behalf of the Australian people and the Australian government? Ladies and gentlemen, you know full well, Australia is a very important partner to those countries in the regional areas that China wants to control, have full control of the Southeast Asia Sea. Ladies and gentlemen, this is fully compromising Australian position in terms of peace and in terms of freedom of trade. Ladies and gentlemen, the benefit of Australia is being compromised. Not only that, but it's actually being a threat to the Australian country. Down with the Chinese Communist Party! Down with the Chinese Communist government! Down with the Chinese Communist government! Stop invading Ghana nation! Stop invading Ghana nation! Ladies and gentlemen, it's not only a threat to Australian na nation, but it's a threat to the whole nation. It's going to take full control of the freedom na navigation in the Southeast Asia Sea. This is not, this is not allowable, ladies and gentlemen. Our Australian government, our Australian people should say something. I have a message for you. We, the Australian people who live in a freedom country, in a peaceful environment, we do not want you to invade our freedom, our interests. We will do everything to protect that. Us and Australia, ladies and gentlemen, join me and call for down with the Chinese Communist Party. Down with the Communist Chinese Party. As a Vietnamese people, I have a message to share with you. Chinese, Chinese government, listen to this. We are here. I invite you, all of those dictators, to come and have a look at our people. We have thousands of people here. Vietnamese, my Vietnamese, my fellow Vietnamese who are here. Why? We want to send you a message that doesn't matter where we are, doesn't matter who, where, which country we are in, we will be united when the time is right. And we will be united with our people in Vietnam. And I tell you what, you have been kicked, you have been disastrously defeated by the two, the Trun sister. The Trun sister. A lesson you should learn. Not only that, Lee Tien Kuk, Lee Tien Kik, and also Trang Hương Dao and, uh, uh, and Ngo Nguyen and Nguyen Nguyen, you should have learned your lesson. You did not learn. You did not learn and you want to fall in that same mistake again. I will tell you, you keep inviting Vietnam, keep inviting Vietnam, we will hold together. We will be united with our people, not only here overseas, but we will be united with our people in Vietnam. And guess what? We're gonna kick your goddamn butt out of Vietnam. Down with the Chinese Communist Party. We're gonna kick you out of Vietnam. Down with the Chinese Communist Party. That is the message I wanna send to you. And I want to send this message very clear and loud to our fellow Vietnamese people in our country. That's very clear. We wow. will be with you to fight this Chinese fire, Chinese dictatorship, Chinese invader. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and and gentlemen our we demand that the Communist China must pay for the crime that created by Formosa in Vietnam. The Communist China must compensate each and every one of the Vietnamese affected along the 250 kilometer coastline. China must pay. 
China must pay. Pay, pay. China must pay. Must pay. China must pay. Must pay. China must pay. Must pay. Shame on China. Shame on. Shame. Shame on China. Shame, shame, shame. Shame on China. Shame, shame, shame. Ladies and gentlemen, we can be here forever as long as. China is still threatening our country and threatening Australia, that we be our beloved Australia, and the risk and the sovereignty of all nations in this region. Ladies and gentlemen, however, before we departed to commemorate and remember those who have fallen for our, of our freedom, the Australian and the Vietnamese who died for our freedom today at the war memorial, we would like to say, you this opportunity to thank the police, the, the ACT police, the protective services personnel for sacrifice your weekend to be here to protect our democratic freedom, our right to raise our concern for our people and for Australia as well. Would you put your hand together, a round of applause for our police personnel and protective services. We're most grateful. We don't want to be here or drag you out here, but we appreciate your respect of our freedom and democratic rights. Now, ladies and gentlemen, before we finish, we, we conclude with another song. Is that right? Yeah. Cảm ơn tất cả quý vị.